Hey Salam, I hope you guys are well. Hello, Jeff is back for another video. And this time I'm making a barbecue platter. It will have lamb ribs, chicken, beans, coleslaw, pickles. You guys gonna absolutely love this. I'm gonna be checking out the brand new Hangbird IBT26S and I'm gonna cook with it. If you're in the market for an awesome barbecue thermometer that's loaded with tech, then this is definitely one to check out. So let's unbox this and see what's inside. All right, let's get to unboxing. Here's the Ingbird IBT26S. And this is the first barbecue thermometer, at least I know of, that sports Bluetooth 5.1. And has a 2500 milliamp hour slash capacity battery that will last you for at least 32 hours. So the first thing we have here is the instruction manual here. And here's the device itself, very, very lightweight. And it has this almost like this champagne gold bevel around it. You have six pots in here. There was one time I did a barbecue and I had like six full chickens on the smoker. And in theory, one of these could have covered each one of them and they could have had their own prop. So this would have definitely come in handy back then. This thermometer is in a sleek, compact unit, so it's definitely not bulky. It also comes with some barbecue clamps. And here's the charging cable. This is going to be a USB-C cable to charge the input device. And then you have all the probs right here. Inside the instruction manual, there is a QR code. We're gonna scan that and it's going to link up the app. So we're just going to install that. And so now we are signed in and we're going to add a device. And we're going to scroll until we see the IBT26S device is turned on. We're going to hit next. So it found it. And now it's saying to press the pairing button. So I'm just going to press here. So the device is pairing now. We are connected. If you click on settings, this is where we can actually change it to read Celsius versus Fahrenheit. And now I'm going to connect one of the probes and it does show we have one probe connected in here. And immediately if we start raising the temperature on air, we are updated instantly. On the app here, there's a little thermometer icon. And inside here, you have so much options as far as what you actually want to do. So we're going to click on steak beef and then we can do some temperature things. Or you know what, alert me when it's medium rare or I like my steak medium. Or you can even do custom. So inside here, you could say, hey, I'm going to do a reverse here. So let me know at 30 Celsius once this is ready. And so all you have to do is hit setup. And if this was actually plugged into a stake, it would say, okay, your internal temperature right now is 30 Celsius. And it will send me a notification once it actually reaches the set temperature of what you want. I can plug in another temperature prop here and then instantly shows up on the app. Very, very simple. I love this. The low and high temperature alerts are very handy. It basically means I don't have to constantly check the temperature readings. Very convenient. There's also a countdown timer which you can easily set up. And here you will find temperature trend line graphs. For example, when cooking a steak, it will create a steak temperature chart, which you can then share online. Really useful when you're cooking special cuts of meat. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to charge up this device and let's do a cook with it. Let's start with a dry rub. It with a smoked paprika, freshly ground black pepper, garlic granules, cayenne pepper, cumin is quite strong, so I'm just gonna use a bit of it. Here I got some of the brown sugar, oregano powder, and finally some salt and a little bit of this MSG. Give that a really good mix and set aside. Now for the lamb, I'm using rack of lamb ribs. I've cleaned the rack and removed the excess fat. If you notice there's a thin membrane on the back of the rack, make sure to remove it. It should easily come off with the help of your hands or just use your knife, just so we can season this properly. Now you want to add some oil onto there, both the front and the back. Oil is gonna act as a binder for our spices. You could also use mustard instead. You want to really massage that in, cover all spots. And now you want to apply a thin layer of dry rub all over the lamb rack. Use your hand as a guide and make sure to cover all corners. Once you've added the seasoning, make sure you tap it down as well, just so it stick to it. And now you want to do the same from the other side. All right, that is briefly seasoned. Now you want to place the lamb on a baking tray that has been aligned with a foil paper. Make sure the bone side is down. All right, our inkbird device is all charged up. Grab one of the props and you want to insert into the thickest part of the lamb. Make sure the prop is at right center of the meat. And you want to connect the prop to the inkbird device. We're gonna click on the thermometer icon and we're gonna select lamb and a custom option for temperature. And here we're gonna enter 90 Celsius. And now just click set. Now the device will automatically remind you when the temperature hits 90 Celsius. And now the ribs go inside a preheated oven at 180 Celsius. And we're gonna let this cook for around an hour, 15 minutes. If you haven't noticed already, it also has a built-in magnet that can easily attach to your metal surfaces or your barbecue. Very handy. Or for our glazing with a chipotle barbecue sauce. If with a hot sauce, use something like Tabasco. If with some of this ketchup, a light touch of Worcester sauce for more flavor. Light soy sauce. I like a bit of this peach nectar in there. If with a pickle juice for some acidity, you could also use vinegar some of the seasoning. Now you want to give that a really good mix. Have a little taste and adjust any seasoning if you need to. It's a bit sweet, spicy, has a bit of pickle flavor to it. It's so delicious. 
or the alarm has gone off and the internal temperature has reached around 90 celsius. Now we're going to remove the lamp from the oven and remove this prob as well. Be careful it's hot. Now add a light touch of brown sugar onto there. A few knobs of butter and some of our barbecue glaze. Oh trust me these are one of the best barbecue ribs that you will ever try. And now you want to cover this up with the foil paper and let this cook for another hour in the oven. I'm using here a whole chicken, we're gonna half the chicken. You wanna cut through the breast and remove the backbone. You should be able to easily do it with a sharp knife or scissor. And this is exactly what you're looking for. Now the touch of oil on the chicken and you wanna give this a real good massage. Season with a good touch of black pepper and of course some of our dry rub as well. Make sure to apply the seasoning properly from all sides. While well, the chicken is beautifully seasoned, now we're gonna remove it into this baking tray. Or well, that looks beautiful, now let's insert our ink bird prop right in the middle of the breast. Make sure it's at the center. You want to select the chicken option from the ink pad app and you want to cook the chicken until the internal temperature reaches 74 celsius which is auto selected here. The oven has been preheated to around 210 celsius. Now if you want you can also monitor the temperature of the oven by inserting another prop. Our other barbecue ribs are ready I'm just going to let them rest for around 15 to 20 minutes and then we're going to check them out. Alright well, the chicken is done now let's remove it from the oven. You can see the chicken has been beautifully cooked to a perfect temperature. This is why you need to get an ink bird thermometer so you can get consistent results. And now you want to add some of our barbecue glaze onto the chicken. This barbecue chicken is gonna be so so delicious. And this goes back into the oven for additional 10 to 15 minutes. For the mouth watching barbecue baked beans, you wanna thinly slice the onion. Some of these green peppers and we're gonna turn up the heat with some of these birds eye chili and jalapenos. On its cook cover means it with a good touch of oil. The heat is on medium. Throw in some of those onions and your green peppers. You want to lightly saute these for a few minutes. A light pinch of salt in there. Now you want to throw in your chilies and give that a really good mix. Now throw in the baked beans along with a touch of water and give that a mix. Your favorite barbecue sauce, I've got the recipe on my channel as well. Season generously with a good touch of barbecue seasoning and a pinch of salt. And finally some knobs of butter. These are one of the best barbecue beans that you will ever try. You want to give that a really good mix now and let it simmer for a few minutes. Our delicious barbecue baked beans. Done. Smaller. Oh, the lamb is resting now. Let's check this. Oh man, just look at those delicious barbecue lamb ribs. They look amazing. Our right, guess of our barbecue chicken is done now. It looks so so good. Trust me, this is one of the best chicken that you will ever try. If you need a premium quality thermometer that will last you many years to come, then definitely check out the Inkbird IBT26S. I will leave the link in the description below. Alright guys, let's play this up with your barbecue lamb ribs. Add your mouth watering chicken onto there. Barbecue baked beans, some of this creamy coleslaw, the recipes on my channel. Some of these pickles, and some of the leftover sauce. Have a mouth watering barbecue platter. Done. It looks so so delicious. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna try this, it looks amazing. Just gonna take a bite of this pickle, get the flavors going. Alright, first I'm gonna try the chicken, bismillah. Mmm, wow, that is so, so delicious. Mmm, trust me, this is one of the best barbecue chicken that you will ever try. And if you have a smoker, oh my god. Let's take a bite of some of those beans, bismillah. Mmm, the beans are packed with flavor, all those jalapenos, where is that chili, it's so good. Our let's try barbecue ribs, the glaze is so beautiful. Let me take a bite, bismillah. 
Mmm. Wow, it's so juicy and it just falls off the bone. Just lost for words, everything complement each other so well. This great meal wouldn't be possible without the Inkbed device. You get perfect temperature readings which are really really useful. Can we please get this video to 5000 likes? I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.